Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer State, this is Coloring Bliss, and today we have the Battle of the Metallic Color Pencil Sets. We've been working towards this video for months, and this is actually the second time that we have addressed metallic color pencils. I'll put a link to the very first time that we ever tested them below in the video description. But today we have, I think it's 18, was it? I think so. 18 different metallic sets that we're going to put through their paces and see which one I think is the best metallic color pencil set. I'm so excited. Before we get started, I just wanna give you a little heads up, a little teaser that we have a very big, very special giveaway coming. So make sure you have subscribed, that you hit the little bell notification so you don't miss out on your chance to win this amazing new prize that I'm not going to tell you about. So we'll talk about that soon though. So to test all of these different brands of metallic color pencils, which I'm going to show you all the brands here in just a minute, we developed a new worksheet so that we can um, really put them through their paces. And this is the worksheet right here. Thank you, Steve, for helping make this. You're welcome. And Steve said, we're going to make it available for a free download. So that's so cool. So you can come and download it and print it off and do your own tests on your own metallic color pencils and see for yourself which ones you like best in your own stash. Now, we also made a few decisions as we were picking out what sets and what to test because some sets of color pencils come with a whole bunch of standard and then a small grouping of metallic. And a lot of sets have at least one or two metallic pencils included, like polychromos, like Prismacolor. We decided to stick with sets that are standalone-ish type sets of color pencils that you can buy on their own without having to purchase a huge set of color pencils. Just so you know that that was one of the things we did to narrow this down. Okay, so let me show you one that is at least partially filled out here. We're going to do this one together so you can see how I tested all of these. Once they're done, it looks like this. So what I ended up doing, this number 1B, is where you swatch the pencils on black, and instead of just um, filling them in with black alcohol marker, which is totally access acceptable, you can do that, I grabbed a piece of our black paper that we use here at Coloring Bliss to print our coloring pages on, and just cut a small square and put it in here, because I wanted to see how they performed on that particular black paper. So at the top of each, I filled out the information about the set. So we have the Faber-Castell Redline Metallic. Let me bring that up. That's this one here. And this set actually was the winner of the last time we did this type of testing. So I saved this one to do with you because I thought it would be interesting to see. Yeah. So the current cost is $7.89 for this pack right here. I believe that was on Amazon. And per pencil, that comes in at $0.64 cents per pencil. They're not available open stock, and they're a 3.8 millimeter core. And I purchased this particular box in July of 2018. So oh, wow. getting close to four years ago. Now, I did that on purpose. I wanted you to know when I purchased these because some of these brands are just sort of fly by the night Chinese brands and, and we don't know if the formulas have changed. So I wanted you to know not just the date of the testing, but the date that my particular set was purchased so you can make a wiser and more accurate decision when you're purchasing your metallic color pencils. Okay, so then I have lots of tests. We're going to do those together, see how it goes. And just so you know, all of these results, all of the different worksheets that I am doing and working on will be included in an awesome blog over at coloringbliss.com so that you can see all the results for yourself and make some good decisions moving forward with your purchase. One more thing you need to know, this sheet here was printed on my favorite color pencil paper. I'll link that below as well. Well, and that will give all the pencils the best opportunity to shine and be amazing. And none of these are sponsored. Yeah, well, thank you for reminding me. We bought all of these with our own money. We are not sponsored, so you can trust that I'm trying to be as objective as possible as I do this testing. All right, let's get started. 
After filling out all the technical information on the left side of the worksheet, I moved over to 1A and 1B, which is where I get to swatch all the pencils. I want to see them on white and I want to see them on black. And as I'm swatching, I'm thinking about the experience I'm having, how creamy they are, how many crumbs are being created, do they look vibrant, all those things while we swatch. For number two, I wanted to see how these metallic pencils blend with themselves. So I pick six pencils and I'm doing three different blends here to see how they perform. Now, just so you know, the way I did it was I laid down the first color and then I came in with the second color and then I went back again. So each gets two layers of pencil to create this blend. Just thought I'd mention which three colors I chose for the Prismacolor colors I'm using. I've got Goldenrod, PC1034, Non-Photo Blue, PC919, and Process Red, PC994. For number three, I wanted to see how the metallic pencils blend with a standard colored pencil. Now, this is important because we often grab these metallic pencils to give a little bit of contrast and interest, and I needed to know if they would work well with mm, my favorite pencil and a very, very waxy pencil, which is the Prismacolor Premier. So you're watching me here do the same method as I did on number two, but instead on the right is a standard color pencil, and on the left of each rectangle is a metallic. Next up is number four, the shine test. On the left, I'm filling in one color with metallic, and on the right, I'm filling in a color with a Prismacolor Premier pencil. Prismacolor Premiers are very waxy and tend to have a natural shine to themselves, so I wanna make sure that the metallic pencils I say are the number one best are shinier than my shiny, waxy Prismacolor Premier pencils. On number five, I wanted to see if these metallic pencils can produce a shine or a sheen no matter what kind of pressure I'd use, light, medium, and heavy. I also want to check again for color vibrancy and the amount of crumbs that these pencils are producing. Some are extremely crummy, so this was really helpful. For number six, I wanted to test the sharpening of these pencils. So after using all these pencils for these tests, I picked some that were a little bit more stubby and sharpened them. I'm checking to see how easy they are to sharpen. Does the wood hold up or does the wood just sort of crumble? The cores on some of these are extremely delicate. So I wanted to see how they sharpen. Are they gonna be a pencil you enjoy or are they going to be a pencil that makes you angry? After completing all these tests, I just put down any final thoughts. How did they blend? Were they fun to use? Was there something unique or interesting about the experience? All of that is made note of. And then it is time for us to score them. And we decided to wait and do the scoring after all of the worksheets were done so that I would have a good feel of all the different brands so I could make the best score possible. As part of this big metallic showdown battle, I wanted to see one sample of each set on one swatch chart so that as a group we can compare and see the shine of all of them next to each other. So I grabbed a gold from each set and swatched it on this page for us to look at. So now you have seen how I did the testing for each brand, and now I want to introduce you to the contestants in this battle. We're going to start out with the cheapest, most inexpensive per pencil cost, and that is the Arteza. Now, Arteza is sort of a special situation. I wanted to include Ar Arteza because everybody sort of knows about them. They're very well known. But this case comes with also t a bunch of neon colors. So it's kind of, it was hard for me to figure out how to price them, but I did it per pencil in this case, not per cost for just the metallic. This is a long story to tell you that these have both neons and metallics in it. Let me show you what they look like. This is the Arteza pencil right here. It's a triangular shaped. It says Arteza Kids on it. And this is the worksheet as it stands. And I was going to mention, we haven't scored them yet. I just thought I would show you all the contestants before we do the scoring. So that's Arteza. Next up is Liquimark. I believe I got these at Blick. There's 12 colors in the set. 
And this is what their pencils look like. Lots of metallic writing on all of these, you guys. And it does have color names, so that's cool. Next up in our battle is the Royal and Langnickel. Langnickel? Langnickel. <laughs> and again, it's just a cardboard box, a round pencil. These ones don't have any um, color names, just some terrible metallic writing. <laughs> um, yeah, that's Royal and Langnickel. Our next contestant is Sergeant Art. Again, we're in a cardboard box. Um, this is what the pencils look like. Black print on these ones, but no color names. And it's just a standard round pencil. Next up in our pencils is this brand here. I've been calling it Ayan Shan, but Steve pointed out that that first letter might be a Q. I don't know, comment below if you know. They do have really cool art on the front of this box. So this set is very similar, 12 colors again, um, pretty metallic on the outside, a metallic writing here, no color names, and a difference here is it's got black wood instead of just standard wood color wood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's these pencils. Next up for our battle is the Mighty Crayola. And remember, we are working from the least expensive pencils per pencil cost to the most expensive. So Crayola kind of comes in towards the bottom as far as the cost. You get eight colors here. And let me flip this page. And the interesting thing about these is I've had them for quite a long time, since July 2018. So this is what a Crayola pencil looks like. They have names on them, metallic writing, and it's just your standard round pencil. Next contestant is the winner from the last time we had a battle. And it's the Faber-Castell Eco Pencils red line is usually whenever Faber-Castell is in a red box, it's considered the red line. So it's not your professional grade, it's more student grade. And this is what their pencils look like. They do have a number that I wrote on the bottom from the last time that we did this test, uh, but no color names on their pencils. That's why I had to number them. They're hexagonal and yeah, that's the Faber-Castell. This is the next one and look how pretty this box is. In fact, it's so pretty, Steve had to buy a box of these for one of his nieces. <laughs> So um, they're the Eboo brand, and I put Eboo Unicorn Metallic on here so you could see the difference. Look how fun and pretty these pencils are. So much fun. It's round pencil, no color names, it just says Eboo and has these really fun stars. They definitely know who they're marketing to. Next up is Castle Arts. Now we've done a full review on these, including me coloring with these. If you're interested, you can check our YouTube channel here for that content. Castle Arts is unique as well because we have 48 colors here. That's by far more than any of the other sets. I think 12 is the highest number. I'm looking behind me, but yeah, I think 12 is the highest. So that's pretty cool. Now the Castle Arts set comes in a nice tin, which I think this is our first tin besides just cardboard boxes. Their pencils look like this. So it's Castle Arts, metallic, and then you turn it and you get a color name and a number. It's a round pencil. Our next brand is Uli, and it's just in a paper cardboard box, but they went to the trouble of adding a tiny bit of foam right there at the top so that as it ships, the pencils stay still. And they also have three pencils to a trough, <laughs> a section. So I thought, you know, they put a little bit more effort into their packaging here. It's a triangular pencil, and it, all it says on it is Uli. So there's no color names, and yeah, that's the Uli pencil. Next up is the Raffine pencils, and I was kind of shocked to find this set. I didn't know that they, this Marco Fine Art Raffine, made an individual pack just for their metallic pencils, so that's kind of cool. They are a hexagonal pencil with black wood and no color names, no color numbers on here. So that's the Raffine. 
These are the Spectrum Noir pencils. Now, I've had them since July 2018 as well, so I'm not sure if they've changed much over the last three and a half years, but mine came in a tin. This is what they look like here. They have black wood, again, it's a round pencil, and we do get a color name on this pencil. Creta color is what I'm going to say. That's our next contestant, and these are really special pencils. They come in a tin, and look how jumbo and awesome these are. So you get a hexagonal 10 millimeter body with a 6.4 millimeter core. That's a lot of coloring you can do. We even have some really fun names for the metallic colors. And there's a number here as well if you want to use those. These are called the Criticolor Brilliance and you need a special sharpener for these. Now you can either use a two hole comb sharpener, the big hole will work, or you can invest in their sharpener. This is the Criticolor Mega and that's what I used and it sharpens like a dream. So. It's not a problem to sharpen them, just make sure you've got a big hole sharpener. Now we've got our five most expensive pencils left and we'll start out here with Karen Dash. No surprise that it's on the high end of our spectrum here. Um, this is pretty cool. The little box here is a plastic tray with a, a paper or cardboard sleeve. And this is what the pencils look like here. We've got a hexagonal pencil. It says Karen Dash. And there's no color names. And the number at the end doesn't mean anything other than it's a code for them. The difference here is that this is a water-soluble pencil. I think we have two water-soluble pencils in our, our mashup here for our battle. So I did a quick water solubility test over here so we can see that. Okay, that's our first of two Karen Dash pencils. Now this is our first of two Derwent pencils that we're going to be looking at. This is a non-water soluble version of their metallic pencils and I got it in a special kit. This is the metallic mixed media set here. It came in a really fancy magnetized box. Look how fancy and bougie this is. Had a foam and then it's got kind of like Caran d'Ache does where they have like a little coffin for each pencil <laughs> and then it came with a water brush and six pans of metallic paint. Now I haven't tested these yet. I'm kind of excited to try them. If you'd like me to do a video on these pans right here, please comment below if you're interested in that. But these pencils I thought were water soluble. I, I guessed they were, but they're not. They are um, non-water soluble. Yeah, you would think they would be. <laughs> yeah, the next Derwent ones are though, so hang in there. Let me move this to the side. I even checked right here just to double check that they weren't water soluble. This is what they look like. It's a typical Derwent pencil with a dip on the end and then some sort of stripe. We've got a name and a number and black print. Thank you, Derwent. Now before I move on, I wanna mention that there are 20 colors available in the Derwent line, so I don't have the full set here. And I think it's a limited edition thing going on. I found it on Amazon, all 20 in one box, like their 20 year anniversary with 20 pencils, I think is what they did. So if this comes in as the winner, I may have to full set syndrome and get the rest of the colors. But I don't know, we have to do the rating first. This is a Lyra pencil right here, and we get six colors in this box, and they were so smart, they made it so that you can pull this tab, and it opens up the box. Wasn't that clever of them? <laughs> I love a good box engineering, it really makes me happy. <laughs> okay, let me show you these special pencils here, if I can get one out. These are also a really big bodied pencil like the Krita Colors. This time we have a 6.25 millimeter core. It's a hexagonal pencil and we have a color number. I believe the last three digits is the specific number for each of the colors. So pretty cool. One other item I wanted to mention about these Lyra pencils is it says Germany right here. If you're the type of person who is concerned about where your products are being manufactured, this is confusing because on the back of the box they have special squares here where they can say where these products were made and this one was actually made in China. So I thought I would point that out. 
here is our second set of Derwent pencils. I'm not sure if they're discontinuing these or not, but I had a hard time finding them online, and when I did, they were wildly expensive, $40 for this set. And I bought them back in July 2018 for $9.56. Oh. So I don't know what's going on here. If this is the set after you see all this that you really want, be really careful as you shop for them. That's all I'm going to say. They were part of our Battle of the Watercolor Pencils and they scored eighth in that. So that's interesting. And they come in a tin. This is what they look like. Again, it's your basic Derwent pencil. It's got dip on the end, a stripe, and then information. And that little brush right there means it's water soluble. So we have our little water soluble test and we get a name and a number for each of these Derwent pencils. Our final contender and most expensive of all are these Caran d'Ache pencils right here. They're called Caran d'Ache Color Block Maxi Metallic Pencils and they're only available open stock. So you, can, you only can buy them like I did here from Blick. Got five colors and they were four bucks a pop. Wow. Very expensive little guys here, but they are the big chubby kind. We get a 5.3 millimeter core, no packaging, it's hexagonal. Um, the body itself is nine millimeters and there are color numbers right here to help you identify these very bougie, expensive Caran d'Ache pencils. So the next step, we get to start scoring. Steve's going to help me and kind of look at all the score pages. The first thing I wanted to show you though is all of our contenders right here on one page and see what we think of the shine off of them. And it's all over the place, you guys. I'm gonna keep rotating this while I talk and try to catch the light. Which one catches your eye right away seemingly the most shiny of all of them? What do you think, Steve? <laughs> yeah, I was looking them over. I, some of them are definitely better than others. Yeah, and I think this is interesting. This is the Caran d'Ache fan color, so more their student grade. And then this is those really bougie $4 chubby boys. And they're very similar. I have no idea if they're the same pencil just in a different format or what. But I thought that was an interesting thing. I'm really glad I did this. We got to also remember that within the sets, some colors within one set are more shiny than others. So this is only one color that we tested across all of them to see, but you know, we'll yeah. take it for what it is. So this we will take in account as we're doing our ratings and I'll be back in a minute to show you what we have scored. I'm going to interrupt here right before I give you the final results of this showdown and ask you to support our channel. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, all those things that YouTube like because it helps us to be able to continue to purchase these products with our own money so that we can be as objective as possible when we do this type of battle. And don't forget to come and download that worksheet over on our website. And while you're there, consider becoming a member because that also really helps us keep our channel going and content like this coming to you. We have been crunching the numbers, comparing the results, and trying trying to wrap our heads around how to be as objective as possible, but honestly, this is going to be very subjective. So you can come look at the results on our blog for yourself. And if I give one of your most favorite pencils a low score, don't take it personally. It could have to do with a lot of variables. It could, um, price, availability, we've scored it on sheen, like the metallic sheen, the color vibrancy and overall look of the colors, and then my personal overall experience. So, don't take it personally if I give a low score to one of your favorites, okay? Having said all that, let's talk about the loser. <laughs> <laughs> but don't take it personally. Don't take it personally, loser. <laughs> this is the loser right here. And at the end, what I'm going to do is show you the test results of the bottom, which is this one, the Rafine, and the top, which I'll show you in a second. 
I'm not going to spoil it. Um, but this is the bottom ones right here, and we'll show you side by side so you can see what we're talking about. In fact, I even marked it because, and we marked it halfway through scoring, that this was going to be a bad one to show you the results and why it's not good. So let me just flip through them, and we'll reveal who the winners are, and then we'll do the fun comparing of the loser and the winner. Okay, so Rafine came in last. Next, Royal and Langnickel with a score of 11. I'll tell you the scores too. Score nine, score of 11. Derwent Metallic, this is that set that is really hard to find now. So it came in with a 12. And if it has an A or a B, all I did, that means we have two scoring at 12. And if it was cheaper, it got an A. And if it was more expensive, it got the B. That's, so that's how I put them in order, okay? Next up is Arteza with a score of 12, but it got an A because it was cheaper than the other 12. Castle Arts came in at 13 and it has a C because there's three that scored 13. Castle Arts, Ibu Unicorn, sorry little unicorns, <laughs> and the, however you say it, Aan Shan or Kwayan Shan, I don't know. They got 13, but they got the A. Uli came in with a score of 14B, and Liquimark tied, so it got 14A. Then we have Spectrum Noir came in with a score of 15. Sergeant Art got a score of 16. Ooh, we're getting close to the winners. Karen Dash, the big fat chunky ones, they got a 17. Lyra, another big fat chunky one, came in at 18. Fabric Castell, this was the winner last time we did it, came in with a score of 19B. So we're now in the higher range. Anything from 19 up, I would say you're going to have a really good experience with these pencils, okay? So that's the first one in this group of really good metallic pencils, 19B. Crayola got a 19A. Really impressed with that little tiny set. Um, yeah, Crayola, well done. Derwent, so now we're into our top three. So this is our third best. Derwent, um, it's this one here that I have in my fancy kit that you can get all 20 if you want to find those. I was very impressed. Beautiful colors, look at them on black. I'll move it in the light so you can see. Look at that shine. I didn't have to work hard for it. The only thing I said negative that pushed it down a bit was that it was a little tricky to blend. So if you look at those blends, maybe you can see what I'm talking about. So well done, Derwent. Next up, our number two slot for our rankings here is this humble little set. I wish we had more colors. Yeah. All we have is six in that nice little plastic tray, and let me move it in the light. One of the things I was impressed by this one is the sheen you got even on the light and medium pressure it was impressive. I mean, look at that flash. It's just a beautiful beautiful metallic. like metallic feeling colors too it's like they're not fighting the metallic these are just lovely colors here and bonus it's water soluble so if you want to use it with your um, watercolor type projects this one will work now remember though as soon as you hit water on these metallics a lot of times the shine just washes away in fact if you look at my sample here you can see there's shine at the top but it just washes the shine away. Okay, so that means our number one best is the Krita color. I remember the day, uh, maybe I'll have to go back and find the video if we have time. I remember when we unboxed this and I said, I think this is just standing out in my head. I said, I wonder if this is a, a contender for the new best metallic set when oh, we really? unboxed it. It's a delight. It has a tin. It has these big, fun, chunky pencils. Let's look at the results here of how they shine and catch the light. The colors themselves are very rich and pretty like emeralds and like it's a, it would be one that you're like, I want to color with this set because you get good colors, you get good shine, good blends. Yeah, so just remember though, you need a pencil sharpener, either a big fat hole for the Coom or just go ahead and buy their branded pencil sharpener because it's a decent little sharpener. Okay, so I promised you that I would show you a comparison between the loser, which was Ruffini, and the winner, because I want you to see, let's start 
train your eye to look here first. I want you to see how much smoother these laid down, how much more vibrant they are on black, and I want you to see um, just the shine as well. So I'll move it in the light. Just look at the white and the black swatches first and hopefully you can see a difference how there's lots over here catching the light. I'm trying to roll it really good. On black these are just flashing really good where this set doesn't catch the light quite as good. And when it does the colors are just very flat like you said. Yeah and it didn't color out well like look how smooth that color is compared to the smoothness there. I don't know if you saw me pointing. That one, these just colored out easier. Um, these ones I said they just don't lay down great. Let's look at the blends over here so you can see the difference between our winter blends. Look how much they struggled. Like, and it's like very translucent, which is just a property, but usually with metallics, you need them to lay down thick and burnished in order to get the full metallic. And I had a hard time making that happen. Look at the difference between this metallic swatch and this metallic swatch. I mean, your eye just gets caught over here every time because it's catching the light almost no matter which direction I go with it. So yeah. This is our winning set right here. But there were so many variables. So anything that scored 19 and above, I would feel really confident saying, spend your money on it. I think you'll be happy with it. So it's important for you to go check out that blog and look at everything from 19 above because you're going to be happy. And it depends on your price range. This guy right here is 20, almost $22 to buy this. Does it only come in 12 colors? And you only get 12 colors. But if you go to our number one 19 slot, which is the Faber-Castell and the Crayola, your investments drop dramatically. $7.89 to get the Faber-Castell Red Line Metallic, and for the Crayola, it's only five bucks. So if you only have less than $10, you're going to be really happy here. Um, but if you have some more dispensable income that you want to splurge on, this is where I would send you because that's a lot of fun. What about the Karen Dash fan colors? How much were those again? Mm, let me find that one right here. This box right here is $12. So it, it takes you over your $10 if $10 is your budget, slightly over, and you only get six colors here. Those are so pretty, though. Yeah, They're Steve so loves good. these ones. Yeah. So again, wrap up. Anything that scored 19 and above, you're going to love. Um, but the winner of this big metallic pencil set showdown is this one right here. Um, Brevelier's Criticolor The Brilliance is what you want to look for. And this was so much fun to film. And again, thank you for supporting our channel so that I could buy all these products, do all the work for you, and send you in the right direction next time you're ready to buy something blingy and fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for your help, Steve. You're welcome. He's still got a lot of work to put this blog up, so I'm going to help him with that. And I hope you all have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. And a metallic sheeny day, too. Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone. But I thought it was important to include it because Arteza is so, um, what's the word? Ubiquitous. Ubiquitous? <laughs> <laughs> Ubiquitous. You should have seen his face when he said that. Um, yeah, it's well known. Okay. Yeah.